Welcome to episode number two of this MLB The Show 20 postseason series. And today, it's the Minnesota Twins versus the New York Yankees. As you can see there on the Twins, I already have 109 stubs, yay. I'm just readjusting the table, and uh, it should be dead. As uh, using the right, the Braves, as you didn't see if you know right now, won four, three, and thirteen innings. But again, the Rockies, Aaron Otto had a solo homer at the dead center field. That second level, of the batters at Trusted Park is not Central Park because it's not Central Park anymore. And then uh, David Dahl hit one into the chop house seats there, right field. We sat in, it, in one of the two sections between the Braves bullpen and that chop house section. If you want to see, I think the Braves, the Braves did win that game we went to. And we actually left because we were in that hotel right there. We have a field view. It is a hotel. There's ones where you, you, it goes off and like you're straight at the field and you didn't see the whole field. We saw some of the field, but you, really we saw the whole field besides left field. And really, sent part of center field, so really we didn't see left field or center field. But yeah, it was still fun. As and also I put it on the TV, and that was a little behind. So like a hit happened in real life, and then like five seconds later the hit happened on the TV. It was kind of fun. But and now I mean, it's the Twins and the Yankees. I'll play the Cubs, and especially this is the only game I'll fill in the D division series. Remember the division series, one game, same of the championship series and the World Series. And then, well, I assume probably on the set, um, this day will probably be the ALC, oh. actually, there, there might be no day, because you didn't see, like, the the winners of the wild card, they got this day off, and then they play this day, so it might be the third, or it might be the ALCS, the single day, obviously, and then the fourth might be the, uh, um, is the NLCS, and then I assume probably the fifth or sixth will be the World Series. So I know I filmed one of the two championship series. That would be the next point, episode three of the, uh, of the postseason series. And episode four will be the World Series, the World Series championship game. So it's the only down I'll put, only down I'll film in the division series, and I and then I'm gonna film one of the two cha championship series games, championship series games, and it will be the ALCS. If the Twins win this game, if it's not, the, twi the Twins win this game and they go to the ALCS, then I, that that means I'm gonna film the ALCS. If they, if they lose this game, then I, then it's still up in the air if I'm gonna film the ALCS or the NLCS. It'll be a 50-50 chance. Well, here we go, Jose Brios versus Derek Cole. Play a game. Hopefully the other doesn't get sent. If it does, too bad. There's looks like I'm probably I think I know I'll play one of the postseason games. I think probably the I think the Rays at Astros tomorrow on Thursday. And then Friday I think I'm gonna play the other uh what? The uh Braves at Dodgers and then could be filming the the ALCS if I don't film that. And if I not film it, I'll probably still play it. So we gotta play full game. The twins will be the twins will be the blue controller and the Yankees will be the dual controller. Is that uh, Brett Darner for the Twins or for the uh, Yankees? Twin, uh, for, it's that player right there is Brett Darner for the Yankees and Luis Arise for the Twins. Left fielder for the Yankees and center baseman for the Twins. Home, road, new Yankee Stadium. 40, holds 47,422 and it opened in 2009. Broadcast, MLB Network. There's a sh I thought there was, theme I thought there was three themes last year. There was, and then, in 17, 18, and 19, there was theme one, theme two, and MLB Network. This year it's the show theme and MLB Network, but I don't know what MLB Network. And the playoff game it could be on either one. Before we just had it on MLB Network. And the all star name's always on MLB Network, I believe. Well, obviously, if you play it, you could put it on the show team. But like, if you play it the show, it's going to be on the way outward. And it's 50-50 if you play a post playoff game for the show. Because you can't pick. Okay, we're on to go with uh, Clear Skies 
broad, broadcast MLB Network. Quick count on Cloud Trevor Clear Skies. Uh, then 93 versus 84. So it's Derek Cole versus Jose Brios. See Matt Chapler, Jorge Palanca, Nelson Cruz, Josh Donaldson, um, Eddie Rosario, Mitch Garver, Mendelson, Eloisa Ride, and Byron Betson. And over there, DJ Amadio, Brett Gardner, Larry Torres, Gary Sanchez, Luke Voigt, Miguel Aguilar, Mike Touchman, Gio Ashella, and Cliff Frazier. Because for some reason, they have a 50, there are no Aaron Judge. Did did Stanton leave? Because in the outfield, it's well, Bright Gardner is actually only the center fielder for this game, and then the right. I mean, there's no Stanton. He might have left the team. I forgot, but Aaron Judge isn't just hurt, and Stanton is hurt as well, or he left the team or something. I don't know. Well, they got Derek Cole from the Astros. Be a free agency, I think. Not sure. Well, I did. Uh, I think Sims of their series and. And it'll be the shiny team in October. There we go. You can see there's the bracket. And the Twins and Yankees and Rays and Astros are the exact same as last year's. The only difference, and the Rays won the wild card game last year. The only difference is that they played the, they, the Rangers basically replaced the A's. And it was in Oakland. And the Rays won. Like, this one or something. I am the player I plan out there for this game. We are here at Yankee Stadium in here. We are here at Yankee Stadium in New York City, or we are here at Yankee Stadium in New York. It is uh, the game one and only game of the 2020 ALDS. The winner will play the Rays or the Astros in the ALCS. Hi everybody! Hi again, everybody. Vinny J here in Studio 42, 8 to 8 of Mandate. Welcome to our special postseason coverage here on LB Network. And here are the stats of the, how the two bars got to the, where they are. First in the AL Central for the Twins, and first in the AL East for the Yankees. Arrive 3.34 average. Cruz 41 home runs. Was on 109 RBIs, and then and then I think over there was what. And then uh, last three stats are pitching stats. Lineups and first pitch, net. Or lineups and first pitch, coming up net. I think he's on, or they don't have anyone interesting. I think he left via free agency. I think Stanton for Stanton. I think, then, and Stanton, I think Stanton and, 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 uh, Edwin Intracion, or Intracion and Stanton left via for the agency. And then Stanton, and then Judge is hurt at him. There we go. Uh, we're back here at Derek Cole. Stats, uh, stats, uh, this season, I guess, 33 starts, only in Fox, 2.50 ERA, 2, 212 and a third inning, 142 hits, 0 0.89 whip, 48 watts, and I think that said, like, 200 some strikedowns for him. No, it's 200 plus strikedowns. Here we go. Here's Kepler. Uh, the shift is on. Here we go. And that is against the shift. No one was home. And Kepler is on a taste second base. Kepler leads off the game, or the, basically, the starts game, uh, Starts the 2020 ALDS with a bang. As I mean, the postseason says postseason and 2020 is a 20, and then it said the MLB logo, and then 20. And now, I mean, obviously here, 2020 ALDS, first and only game. Here's Palacio, and it's a bullet! Feel it on the hot pie! The shortstop throw to first in time. And Kepler stays where he is. And here's the starting line for the Minnesota Twins. Matt Sheffler, Jorge Polanco, Nelson Cruz, Josh Donaldson, Eddie Rosario, Mitch Garver, Miguel Sano, Luisa Rise, and Byron Butson. This season, 1,547 hits second in the AL. You can see, I mean, a Rise batted 334 this year. And here's Cruz, 311, 41 home runs, 108 RBIs. That was the stats that lasted. That was a perfect, perfect hit by Polanco. But it was a. Here we go. 
And I said, round ball again, and the left side, so Kepler said, there where he is. And, and Grizz is out by a lot, two down. So a double, and then a two straight six three ground outs. Here's Donaldson, and that's the stats for the Braves last year. Here, at, that wasn't perfect, perfect. Here's Donaldson, and that's a foul ball, one and two. And we're trying to get out of this. Here's Cole. And it's a fly ball, right field. This should not, this should get it out of the end. And it's caught by the right fielder, which it's not Aaron Judge. Won it by the d Twins, but he's turning it at second base. Middle of one in, uh, in the 2020 ALDS, the score is 0-0. Zero, zero. Here's the stats for uh, Twins starting pitcher, Jose Barrios. 32 starts, 14-8, 3.68 ERA, 201 thirds in it, 194 hits. 1.22 whip, 51 wants, and 195 strikeouts. And here's DJ LeMayhew. 1-1 one, one count. And that's a fly ball. Coming in is Bunston. And he makes the catch. One down. And his starting lineup for the New York Yankees. DJ Lemay here, Brett Gardner, Labor Torres, Jerry Sanchez, Luke Voigt, Miguel Aguilar, Mike Tonchman, Gio Oshella, and Clint Frazier. 267 average, fourth in the AL for the, for the Yankees this year. We're at Yankee Stadium in New York. Brett Gardner, center fielder today, or tonight, pardon me. 2 1 count. And it's a foul ball, 2 and 2 to the Brett Gardner. As a Burrell says, a 14 fastball slurve, 15 fastball, and it changes. He does have a slurve. And that's a ground ball to a rise at center base. Throw it a first. Got it. And here's the post in the bracket. You see the winner of the stand will play. And the winner of the stand will play the Rays or the Astros in the ALCS. This is name one. This is this is name. Well, this is the 2020 ALDS. Here's the Larry Torres. That is fly ball. I thought for a second it was gone. I didn't see the ball right away. And that will be caught by Butson uh, a few feet away from the Warren Trent, and it ends over. One, two, three, though, the Yankees. And the one here in the 2020 ALDS. Remember, it's only one. Remember, it's only one day, and the score is 0 0. The Oscar name in real life is one day, but remember, I said in the sentence, at the division series, championship series, and the World Series, only one game. So this is the first and only game of the ALDS of the, two, of the 2020 ALDS. And Rosario, Ponsoir in left center field. They had to shift on the infield and outfield, and the left fielder makes the catch in left center field. One down. And here's the New York Yankees defense. Uh, Mike Thompson, Brett Garner, Clint Frazier in the outfield, Luke Boyd, DJ LeMayu, Leroy Torres, Gia Ashella, and in the infield, and Derry Sanchez behind the play. And obviously, Derek Cole, the Yankee starter, on the mound. And here is Mitch Garver. Garver! Tries on center field, go on, Magus Garner! And he makes the catch on the edge of the warning track in deep right center field and out five feet up just in front of the Yankees bullpen. Two down. Here's Sano, the first baseman. And because Johnson's at third base, they move, converted Sano to first baseman now. 2-2 two, two pitch, foul ball on the changeup to Sano. Remains 2-2 two, two, to Sano. Sano, or Cole, has four seam fastball, slider, knuckle curve. Change up and a two seam fastball as well. So, five pitches. So, no, ground ball. He just pushed it wide. The infield and the outfield have a, has a shift to the left. Well, shift left and deep for the outfield and a screen left and normal for the infield. So, but. One down the left side of the infield, or the right side of the infield, is the first baseman. And a, and we got remains two and two to Miguel Sano. Sano tries on right field or right center field deep, but he makes the catch on the edge of the warning track like it is hell. And then and, and, and it ends over. One, two, three of the twins. Middle of two. It is twin zero. Yankee zero.
We're back here is, I believe, but Barry Sanchez, yeah. One for seven in his career against Jose Barrios. Three two count. That's a ground ball and a shift to the left. Boss by Polanco! But he retires and throws the Sano at first base and he gets him. And, and here's the defense for the Minnesota Twins. Eddie Rosario, Byron Bunston Matt Stupper in the outfield. Miguel Sano, Luis Arise, Jorge Polanco, and Josh Stileton in the infield. Miss Jarrett behind the plan, obviously. Twin starter, Jose Barrios on the mound. And he'll shift to the left. And that's a ground ball. Fielded by Arroy. Cheater jumped from, from the other, from the third base side of the center base. That's not in time. And they're, and the twin, uh, up to 20 cents of challenges. Call, call on the field. Let's say that he did it. was a cheater jump throw by Arroy from the third base side of the center base. And he's out. And with four seconds left, the challenge, and, and Rodo Baldelli, the twin manager, says he wants a challenge. Call a challenge, call on the field, it's safe at first base. It has to be video evidence to overturn the call. And you can see, was Sano's foot was off on the base. I don't blame him the headphones on. First base umpire is over there as well. Doesn't have headphones on now. And the call by the home play umpire. Said he was out. The call by New York, but umpire says out. Call is overturned, and the Twins will have uh, additional challenge to use later in the ball game if necessary. So a good play by a rise. And at the ground ball, the Polanco that no shift on for the infield out or outfield throw to first. Stood shoot by Snell at first base, and the end's over. One, two, three. The go the Yankees, and the two it is. Uh, twin zero, Yankee zero. On the top of the third, only one hit in the game. That was by the Twins. Here's a ride, the number eight batter. Byron Butts in the center fielder on deck. As a ride, smash one! That will split the outfielders! Perfect, perfect! Goes against the wall. And a ride, the 47 speed is in there. With a n lead off double. The second hit of the game for the Twins. As a Twins. As Purvis, Purvis, he's in here, smash to the bat. One half the fence in front of the Twins bullpen. And now it's Byron Bunston. Full count to him. Trying to at least get the runner over to third. And it's a ground ball. That's a fair ball. Got it past. And Bunston's 97 speed is in there. Two straight doubled by Louisa Rise and Byron Bunston. And it's one nothing Twins. One, two, talent to Templar now. And that is a base hit! Buxton with a gas to speed as, as it was off target, but Buxton was held. That's weird because he has 97 speed, but this is. And now it's Polanco runs at the corners. Nobody out for Polanco. Two, two, count. And that is low, ball three, Cruz on deck. That is a looper to second for one to first. It was a, so he does get the fielder strikes, run, runner at first, one out. Seriously, Butson didn't score? Okay, I gotta figure out something because there's something wrong with this. So the wind's seven miles, seven miles per hour blowing out the left field, so that's how. But something's wrong with this, like. Yeah, there. Here's Cruz as Buxton did not score. But Cruz! Dreaming's one! Is it caught? It is caught! We have runners! We 
have Buxton now as the runners are running. Two down now is, I don't know what, now here's Donaldson as, now they need a hit as, you should, and that is low, two and one. Donaldson, ground ball into the center base and throws to the short side cover and Chet and it's over. But thanks to a RBI double, or a RBI double by Bonner Buxton, middle, there's the Twins, a one up lead after two and a half innings of play. There's the left field. I can't play Butson in store. Usually he does store on it, so I don't know why I didn't run. 2 2 count. And it's a base hit. Perfect, perfect. In the left field. On the 111 miles per hour edge of velocity. And the time runs on first base. 2 1 count. And it gets the bomb of its own 2 2. Oh, I thought that would show the umpires. 2 2 count. And it's a looper back to Burrios to send him for one to first. Double play, a one six three double play, and Twitler's two down. There's a Clint Fraser batted nine, as they have one hit. That was their first hit of the game right there, but it was a right time double play. Here we go, one one count to Clint Fraser, and that gets the ball of the zone one and two. And uh, apparently there's still no one buyers. One, two count now. Brios trying to do one, give up one into two, or three, and that's out the middle. Base hit, and the top hero will come up. Or number, and the uh, lineup flips over. And it will be, I don't know, who, LeMayhew, I think? Yeah, LeMayhew. Here we go, LeMayhew. That's a ground ball! Base hit! Base hit! Throw at the 70, not in time. And the tying run is a center base, so a hit to the outfield could tie the game. And here's Garner with a chance to tie the game if he did, can did it. Ball to the outfield, or hit to the outfield. That's a pop up in the infield. Foul territory. Donaldson over, and he makes the catch in and an end. Two hits by the Yankees, but they're stranded at first and second base. And the three, it is one up in twins. Here's Rosario. Shift is on. Rosario smacks one. Perfect, perfect. In the left field, but it does get cut off. To it. But that's what you do. Hit it. If you're not going to bunt, I mean, they only had one guy in the, the third baseman in the shortstop position. I mean, there was no one down. And the outfield is playing, shifting to the right as well. Here's Garver. Smacks one. What a play. The second for one. The first. Double play! What a great play! Four hits, three double play. A dive and stop on the set. I'll make you, and there's two down. Here's Sano. Sano breaks the bound. He's on third. Cole covering first base, and then and score on three one, and the inning's over. Won it by the Twins, but it's a race on the on the double play. Uh, middle of four, it is one up in Twins. Labor Torres. I think he just hit Torres. And then no shift or no shift on Torres. Smash one. And that ball is caught by Buston on the, or in left center field. It's, remember, it's only 3.99 to to uh, the wall. I believe both bullpens. It's only 3.99 or at least twin bullpen. And that's a pop up in fair territory. Garver says he has it and he makes the catch on the home play. Two down. And I mean, and there's Luke Boy over two with a unassisted round, uh, unassisted round out. I assume a three unassisted in the second. That's a ground ball. Charging his poncho. Throw to first is in time. One two three. Go the twin or one two three the Yankees and the four. It is one nothing Twins. Eight nine one do up for the Twins. And the top of the fifth, a rise for the only run for the Twins. Got a double and then stored on on uh, bu on Butson's double. That's a little looper. Only 47 feet. Field it by Cole. Throw to first is in time. One down. And here comes Butson with 97 speed. Who had a double and an RBI. 
and probably should have scored. I thought he was going to on that fielder's choice, but never did. And that is, oh, it was on the bottom line, but the umpire, whoever that was, said it was a ball. 3-1 town, Henders town to Butson. That's a ground ball. He got to hurry. Throw to first, and he got him. Two down. I don't know who that home plate umpire. Now it's Kepler with a two. And we down. He was two for two with a double and a single. One on town to Kepler, and that gets the outside corner. One and two. As we're not done by see the umpires, but we're gonna. Should be down here somewhere. Yeah, Fred, that was Freddie Ferguson. Forty uh, four crown. Went to seven miles, seven miles per hour. Well, it's just blowing out the left field. It said seven point eight, but there it is. One two town. That's a foul ball. Kepler is only a left-handed batter and a left-handed fielder. Shift is on to the right side. Infield and outfield. That's a bullet. Perfect, perfect. Got it through the shift. And Kepler's on with a two-out single. Three for three with two singles and a double so far. Through five. Through three at bats for Kepler. And now it's Kepler. I mean, pardon me, Polanto. With Kepler at first base. That's a ground ball. And he's going to throw the second. Got him by eyelash. Go to that four sits and then ends up over. One, one hit by the twins, but he's trending at first base. Uh, middle of five, it's one up in twins. Why is there twins time? Twins uh, fan doing that? Everyone's do everyone doing that. The Yankee fan besides that one person. He's a twins fan. Hold him back to Yankee Stadium. Let's go in the field to uh, catch up with Heidi Lonnie. Andy Hardy. Oh no. Here we go. Here's the DH. Lay out the fifth. And that's a pop up on the infield. Paul out there under it. And he makes the catch. One down. Here's the left fielder, Mike Kaufman. Sitting on his first chance. And that's a ground ball. Pass the glove of Donaldson. That, was, that might be an error. One under his glove. And that is, yeah, single. And time runs at first base. That is a ground ball to second for us. Taylor May sits 4 3, double pointer. Good scoop at first base by Miguel Sano. One hit by the Yankees, but the race on double play. Middle uh, end of five, it remains one nothing twins. Well, back here's Cruz over to the fly out, and I, or I believe, yeah, yes, ground out and a fly out. That's a looper. Cruz goes against the shift. He could be to over two, and he is going over two. Fifteen speed. The bin man is in there. Well, not the bin man, but the. The old man is in there with a double as he gets jammed, but that that would have been a ground ball on the first base team, but he was shift. He was over there, but it, it was between him and the first base bat. He was moved over to the right a little. Here's Donaldson. Donaldson tries one. That right center field and it's cut off. Actually bobbled by Gardner, but that would have been scored a run and probably would have put Donaldson at center base anyways. And it's 2 nothing. Twins. So a double by Cruz and now a double by Donaldson. Here's Rosario. Try Rosario! Hit, knocked down by the pitcher. Pitch it up, throw it up versus in time, but he does advance the runner to third base, and there's only one out. And now it plays over, and now our assistant turns to the pitcher. Is he okay? Should be. I think he only hit his glove, and he weighs up the train. Here's Darver. And a fly on the ground, just a fly out here deep enough to score Donaldson. And it's a ground ball! 
They're gonna go to first. The infield has been seen in the run for now. Donovan at first. That will be an RBI ground up for Garver. And it's 3 0 Twins. And here's Sano, 0 for 2 in the game as they already struck two runs in the inning. 1 2 count to Sano. Sano on the changeup, fouls a bat. Straight bat. 1 2 count. Sano! Cracks one! And it's going to go all the way to the warning track. And Sano in there with a two out double as the Twins are putting on good pressure as he hit it. Almost to the center, hit almost center base umpire, I believe Joe McDonald. But hit the other way. Here's a rise. That's a fly ball. Down, and that's deep. And that ball is caught on the warning track. And then it's over with two runs by the Twins. I was 10, the Twins lead to 3 nothing after five and a half innings of play. Nine one two do up for the Yankees and the bomb it says down three zero. That is a crack! But it's gonna not go anywhere. No man is busting and he makes the catch. One down. As they GJ Lemayhill. That is a bullet off of Barrios! Picked up by Garver, throw to first, not in time, and Lemay is on with the infield signal. Now this play over, our attention turns to Barrios. You know, way off the trainer, trainer and here's Gardner, if he didn't get on, time is coming to the plate. That's a foul ball, two and two, as he fell about to change up at 79 miles per hour. Here, here we go. Garner tries one! Deep right center field! And that ball is over the Yankees bump and gone! Brett Gardner has cut the Twins lead to one at three to two. A solo home, a two run homer by Brett Gardner to right center field over the Yankees bullpen. His first of the postseason, and he has cut the Twins lead to one at three to two. It's new and old be the show 20. Fans actually have food now instead of just a uh, drink and phone. Now they have food drink. Now they have food, drinks, and phone. 105 miles per hour off the bat. Project the distance 428 feet over the Yankees bullpen. Uh, outfielders even move. Perfect, perfect. Brett Gardner at three to two. Torres tries one. Is that about the bat? Dylan Mack is busted. He makes the catch. Uh, uh, put him on the edge of the warning track. One down. Or two down. Pardon me. Gary Sanchez. And uh, now it's a one. I mean, they were up 3 0 in the 2017 AL Wild game. Then it ended up, I think, a three run homer by, I'm, I think, DD Dorius, which I'm not, he might not be on the team. He's not on the team, I think, anymore, or he's hurt or something. And then they ended up winning the game. And that's a fly ball, left center field. And it will be caught by Buston and it's over. But a two run homer by. Brett Garner, the straight or the right center field over the Yankees bullpen, has cut the Twins' lead to one at three to two after six innings. Apply. Nine one two. I mean, Brian Dozier had a solo homer, and Walter Escobar had a two-run homer in the first inning, and then I think Degorius hit a three-run three homer to tie the game, and then the Yankees won it, and then ended up going to the ALCS. Had one game away from the World Series, but lost in six. And so both in Houston, that's a little looper, and Buston is in there. We all seen for Byron Buston to start the top of the seventh. And now a top of the will come back up, and here comes Matt Tepler, who I believe is three for three in the game with three singles. Buston! That will not be caught! And that will not be going over the wall, and Buston will be held at third base. But a signal on a double. Run set in third. Nobody out here. And here, and let's look at Kepler's plan via the shell motion. As he almost blew. Jorge Palaja over three. As you might. Cole's getting tired. Have Chad Green warming up in the Yankees bullpen in right center field. As you might see a tensional walk because then it would set up the fourth play. 
No, no. On pitch. That's a ground ball. Enfield was in. Throw the first quick is in time. And Buston saves runners to Kepler and Buston saves where they are. And now here's come, here comes Cruz. And here comes the pitching coach. 95 pitches so far thrown by Cole as. Here comes the manager. Home for the right of Chad Green has three, uh, right now so far three hundred runs by Cole sits in the third inning. But he is responsible for the runners at second and third base. So he did end up giving up five runs. Right now he is in line for the loss. The best thing to do is a no decision. And here's Chad Green. Here's Cruz running second and third, one out, infield in. That's a base hit! Nelson Cruz! As Cruz threw it, threw it. I don't know why. For so and Cruz was bad. It's an RBI signal. It should it should have been a two-run single, but for some reason, runner center base did not run at the start. So here's Donaldson, which still plays in order. It's four-two. Donaldson cracks one. I then messed it up. So no tag up. Here's Rosario. One two count. Runs at the corners. Two outs remains. Four two twins. Rosario pop fly center field. This should get him out of it. Gardner under it, and he makes the catch. But the Twins there run. Seven minute stretch time here at Yankee Stadium in New York, where no one sits and half into the play. The score is Twins four and the Yankees two. Here we go, Burrio says. Starting the warm up, Sergio Romo in the twin bullpen, left center field. Down on via trade from the Marlins, right around the trade deadline. Uh, and that is a base hit! Cut off by Buxton! But the tying run is coming to the plate. 29th feet at first base as he hit it basically up the middle. And, that, and now it is the. Over to the DH at the tying run. I don't know if he has home run power. That is a stop off the glove. 65 speed throw to first. Not in time. And the tying run is on at first base. And the go ahead run still in the play. And it's, this guy's two for two with two singles. And Sergio is. Oh, uh, no, no. Uh, here, 71, 27 balls, 51 strikes, 78 total pitches. As you might see a sacrifice here, or oh, there's two strikes, so you're not going to surprise see a sacrifice. That is it. Run. That was a here's show chart technology. As Buxton did catch it, but the, the runner at center base did tab. As Byron Buxton, top speed 90 miles per hour, round fishing 98 percent, distance covered 114 feet. But now it is. Jerry O'Shella as a go ahead run, but the time run is at first base. There's a fly ball, deep center field, going back to Buxton. On to the warning track, and he missed it! He missed it! He missed it! It went over his head, and it's 4 3 with the time run 90 feet away, and the go ahead run E8. Oh my god! As they also have Tyler, they also have Tyler. They have Tyler Duffy warming up and Sergio Romo ready and waiting. I don't. I mean, this is this is dangerous. Four three now. That is a ground ball. They're the Tyler will score through to first in time as the runner is in the stage where he is. But the runner at third did score. Our behind ground out tied down. Here's Lemayhew. LeMahieu is there on leave. Trying to leave Burrios out there. One on count. And that's low two and one on LeMahieu. Burrios is dead tired. Trying to hit him. It's through seven. But he won't get the win. That's a ground ball. Knocked down. By Sano. Throws it to Burrios. Got him. So the air did. By Buxton. Did lead to the time run. But it did not. Did, but the Twins did not blow the. Or they. 
Then the air led to a tight end, but then it lead to a Yankees uh, lead. And the seventh, the score is 4-4. Four, four. There's Garver. <laughs> they have, uh, I don't know why it's 53 overall. They have Jonathan Holder warming up in the Yankees bullpen. And now we're tied on the top of the eighth. Garver, ground ball, and he hits it against the ship for a base hit. Garver, he throws it the first, but it's not in time, obviously. The, as that's a go-ahead run, here comes Sano. Sano, Sano, cracks one foul. No sounder rise because it was already two strikes. postseason and the twins I think it's it's four late. I I'm on sleep and it said that worked tonight but she worked last night. She worked and it's not one about two rows deep. Here's a rise. That is base hit perfect perfect hit by a rise. Well it's not Louisa Rye or whatever he said, but it's t a rise. A rise uh, Jonathan Holler is ready away in a 73 overall right in a middle relief pitcher. But now. You're probably going to see Burrios come out and start the eighth. Uh, putting Duffy or Ram Ramiro. Ground ball center. The center for one. It's the hardest double up. Buxton. And he has 97 speed. Beats that out. So now there's 97 speed on base. It's hard to double him up. And there's Kepler. Four for four, two doubles and two singles. You might see a steal here. There he goes, Buxton, and it's a final ball, one and two. That's a ground ball, can't get two. Throw to first is in time, two down, but Buxton, base hit to storm from center base. And now here comes Polanco, over four in the game. Chad Green's in, tired, and here comes the manager, and here comes Jonathan Holder, new pitcher for the ATs. But Chad Green is responsible for the runner at center base. 3-2 count. Polanco, that is a base hit! Coming around third is Buxton! Throw to the plate, not in time! 7-4, Twins! RBI signal by Polanco, his first hit of the game. And it's 7-4, Twins, and by the way, the umpires don't want to cope because I... I assume that. I'm not sure how cold it is, but... Buxton! This is really... This is really enthused, right, guys? Later, should be my first episode of my new relocation franchise at the Snipes. Should be. Uh, uh, it is 62 degrees and clear, so... Here we go. One, two, count. One, two, count. Just Cruz. At the ground. Ball. Diamond. Knocks it down. Picked it up. But Cruz, even with 15 speed, does beat that out. And field signal. And field signal. And here comes Donaldson. Donaldson. Hot fly. Hot. Uh, mile high. And it is caught by the right fielder. But thanks to a 2 and over by Mendelso. And an RBI single. By Polanco, it is now 7-4 Twins after seven and a half innings of play. So, they're not a Brendan Duffy. Mineral relief pitcher, 78 overalls. Ronald is set up now at 74 overalls. So, here comes Duffy, a right hand pitcher. They have two righties ready to wait him. And they're not a Brendan Duffy. Here's Duffy. As... Elsa and Taylor Rogers are closer, left handed pitcher warming up as well. Throwing ready and white and a righty. Gardner smacks one! In the center field, a time run's coming on dead, another base run, and a time run to the plate. 
as Darner with the two run homer earlier to just scored the first two runs for the Yankees and now here in terms of Shelt or Glaber Torres 0 for 3 in the game. If he can get on the time runs come to the plate. That's a foul ball one and two. That would have been a ball unless the umpire was crazy because it wasn't even touching the zone. Tennis back to Duffy the second for one the first a one six three double play two down and the Yankees are down in the final four outs and here comes Sanchez. Over three in the game. That was a huge play. Uh, shift to the left in the outfield and out infield and outfield. Strike two. Swing in. Two down. Or two two strikes. Two and two. Sanchez. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Blew the fastball right by him and then it ends. One hit by the Yankees. A race on double play. End of eight. It is seven for Twins. Never. This is the 2020 ALDS first and only day. Here's Rosario, one for four with a signal in the fourth inning. And shifts on. And that's a ground ball in the shift. Feel it by the third, or shortstop behind the center base. Add, throw the first in time. Score that, sit three. And there's one down. What happened to the outs up there? Here's Garver. That's a ground ball. Had a shift to the left on in the infield, and outfield. A fielded by a center baseman, throw to first in time. Throw that 4-3, two down. Here's Sano, two for four with a homer, double, and two RBIs. And the homer, he had the two RBIs from the home run. Sano, swing and a miss, strike two on the changeup. That's still a safe situation. The final bring a Romo if it's not. If it is, then I'll bring in Rogers. At the ground ball, fielded by the shortstop. Throw to first, got him. One, two, three, all the twins. Uh, the Yankees need three runs a time, four to win, and the bottom of the ninth. The middle of nine, it is seven, four twins. It's the Twins have seven runs and 17 hits, one error, and the Yankees have four runs and nine hits. And no errors. It's Real still ready to win in the bullpen. Rogers, the closer, 85 overall, left handed pitcher will come in. Good try to hit the save. And send the stop and send the twins to the ALCS to play the Rays or the Astros. Three two count. That's a ground ball. Feel it by the only on the left side. If you throws the Rogers in time, scoring a three one and quickly there's one out. And here comes. No, it's a bottom of the order to the H. Here we go. Here's Rogers. One one count to the Yankees DH. And that is it. Danny Brightfield going back is Kepler at the wall. And he makes the catch up against the wall. My word. Even if that was gone. Well, if that was gone, it would have brought the time around on deck. And now, here's Tomlin. Mike Tomlin. Season, hands in the balance. Two over three with two sandals. Down their final out. Rodgers have a center. With a center, slider, and curveball. No fastball. That is a ground ball. He's going to do it. Feel it by Blondo. Throw to first. That is in time. And the Twins. Move on to the ALCS to play the Rays or the Astros. Now, player of the game it used to be that the stats right there, but now it just says player of the game. So, oh, it, I think two for five with a homer, double, and two RBIs, and he got the two RBIs from the two run homer that day. The Twins lead in the eighth. And so now, I mean, pretty good. I mean, he deserves that. I mean, he hit the doe ahead home run in the eighth inning, and, and the Twins move on to, to play the Rays or the Astros in the ALCS. That was a home run that was about two rows deep, and then it popped up about 20 feet in the air. For, um, yeah, usually I do an outro if he's not on camera. My outro basically is the closing. But. A 
That's the real announcement that that Sturgeon signs off. Burrios. Under Chad Green gets a loss on an in and a third. My word, what a game by. I mean, Dom sent out two for five with a homer, double, two run, two RBIs, and obviously scored his only run on the home run. Kepler, four for five with two doubles. Cruz, three for five with a double RBI and a run. Donaldson, one for five with a double RBI and a run. You can see right there, I mean, that on that list, you see four players, and, and so now those people all together are drove in four runs out of the seven. I mean, yeah, he just came back to tie. I mean, at one point, what, it was 3 nothing, then it was 3-2, then it was 4-2, then 4-4, and then it was 7-4. And then, So, really, the Twins had the lead or was tied, and the Yankees had, were losing. Yeah, I mean, the Twins, the entire game was were winning or tied, and the Yankees, the entire game, were tied or losing. And the Twins were never losing, and the Yankees were never winning. As Brio did the win, seven innings, eight hits, no strikeouts, four in runs, no walks. Chad Green gets a loss, in and in a third, four hits, no strikeouts, three earned runs, and no walks. Rogers gets a save, one in and no hits, no strikeouts, no earned runs, and no walks. Well, next episode, Will, of this postseason series, will be the Twins playing the Astros or the Rays. We'll find out who we're playing. But later today, it might be late again because I've been doing some stuff. You know, the setting video of every day, like this spring break, been at like 8 p.m. Sorry about that, but. I just been busy. I mean, it's already 3:10. I mean, yesterday's video was like 2:45. I mean, really, I, well, this channel probably won't be ready because I have to edit this video. But I also have to do the other, uh, the Cubs and Nationals because then probably tomorrow I'll do the what, the Rays at Astros and then you know. But yeah, next episode, episode three of the series, which is the next episode, will be the Twins versus the winner of the basically the Twins. It will be the AL. CS, it will be the Twins versus the Rays or A's, or it will be the Twins versus the Astros or Rays, it just depends who wins the other ALDS game. Well, and I think if the Rays win, that game, if the Rays win, they play the Twins, and the Twins will be the home team, if the Astros win, they'll play the Twins, and it will be in Houston, I believe. The Rays were a wild card team. Astros, well, technically I had them have the best record in the AL, it is, and the best and the be team had the best record in the their lead plays the winner of the wild card game. Okay, that's time for closing. No board. If you got to upset with the like button, subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Tell your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, pets, and friends about these videos. And you know what? I'm gonna see you in episode number three of, and will be the show twenty postseason series. See you in episode number three, and eat a lot of bacon.